Hush by Lily Written by Claire Friedman and illustrated by John Bendel Brunello Night time crept over the farmyard. The moon rose higher into the darkening sky. Are you still awake, Lily? said Mother Rabbit. You should be fast asleep by now. I'm trying, but I can't sleep. Lily replied. The farmyard's far too noisy for sleeping. And she pricked up her ears. What's that? What's that quacking sound I can hear? She asked. Hush now, said Mother Rabbit. It's only the ducks resting in the tall reeds. <laughs> Sorry, Lily, called out a golden-eyed duck. Are we keeping you awake? We were only singing sleepy bedtime songs to one another. Would you like me to sing you a song too? Yes, please, Lily said. So the duck puffed out his chest shook out his feathers and sang the most beautiful duck lullaby he knew. That was lovely, sighed Lily. Sleepily, shh, whispered the duck. And without a sound, he waddled away back to the moonlit pond. the owl on the barn roof. Hush, whispered Lily's mother. The owl flew away high into the sky. Yawned the piglets, nestling top to tail in the pigsty. Shh, sighed Mother Rabbit. Hush. Sleepily, Lily closed her eyes. But before long, she opened them again and pricked up her ears. What's that mooing sound I can hear? she asked. 
Hush now, said Mother Rabbit. It's only the cows lowing in the cowshed. Sorry, Lily, cried out a soft-eyed cow. Are we keeping you awake? We were only telling each other bedtime stories. Would you like to hear a story too? Oh, yes please, said Lily. So the cow told Lily her favorite sleepy bedtime tale. That was nice, said Lily with a huge yawn. Shh, whispered the cow. And she lumbered back in the old barn as quietly as she could. cried the farm cat, huddling her kittens together. <coughs> Hee-haw, brayed the dreaming donkey, turning in his sleep. Sighed Lily's mother. Hush now. Lily closed her eyes. <laughs> but she opened them again pricked up her ears. What's that cluckling sound I can hear? she asked. Hush, said Mother Rabbit. It's only the hens hiding in the haystacks. Sorry, Lily, called out a bright-eyed hen. Are we keeping you awake? We were only collecting straw to make mm -hmm. our beds more comfortable. Shall I find some straw for you too? I'd like that, said Lily. So the hen brought back a beak full of straw and tucked it under Lily's head. That's cosy, said Lily, struggling to keep her eyes open. Shh, whispered the hen. And she crept off. Softly to the hen coop on tip toes. Shh. Hushed ducks to the ripping reeds. Shh. Hush the cows to the leaves on the trees. hushed the hens to the whispering wind. Hush now, Lily, whispered Mother Rabbit, and she snuggled up against her little one. The moon hid behind the clouds. All was quiet and still, until...
Down in the shadowy stable, a little brown foal opened his eyes and pricked up his ears. What's that whistling sound I can hear? He asked. Shh! Go back to sleep, his mother whispered. It's only little Lily snoring. Finally, Lily. The baby rabbit was fast asleep and dear children hope you have loved this story small children who love animals will find this their favorite bedtime story so sweet dreams and wish you travel to a beautiful farmland in your sleep. Bye bye from the Snimanti from Sarah International Preschool and Childcare. Bye bye. The cow is sleeping, the sheep is sleeping, and the pig. Is sleeping as well. Good night.